Alrighty then, today we have another awesome PCP from the pellet shop. We're going to be taking an up close look at the AEA Precision SF Standard. The SF comes in a compact, standard, and sniper version. The compact is going to have a 10 inch barrel. The standard that we're reviewing today in 22 caliber is going to have a 13 inch barrel. And the sniper version has a barrel length of 18 inches. What's unique about this PCP is that it's bolt action and semi-auto. So it's got a lot of buttons and levers on it. We'll figure out what each one of those do and how it operates, as well as test the accuracy in this video. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that AEA bolt actions are super accurate without fail. So hopefully this will give you the accuracy of an AEA bolt action, as well as the devastating firepower of an AEA semi-auto. Real quick, here's some hardcore stats. The SF series is available at the pellet shop. There'll be a link in the description. It's affordably priced. The AASF is available in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. It weighs just 5.3 pounds. Got an overall length of 35 inches. With the buttstock folded, it's only 24 inches. It's got an integrated shroud with baffles in there, so it's going to be quiet straight out of the box. But you can add your own Donnie FL if you want to get jiggy with it. Cocking system says it's semi-auto and bolt action. It has an adjustable external regulator. So this is regulated. It means it's going to be very accurate. So a regulated bolt action AEA, this is going to be fun. In 22 caliber, the magazine is going to hold 12 shots. 25 caliber is going to hold 10 shots. And 30 caliber is going to hold 9 shots in the magazine. It has an air tube capacity of 330 cc's. A full 300 bar fill or 4500 PSI. This does have adjustable power, so it's tunable. If it's not flying exactly the right speed for your ammo, you just tune it to whatever speed your ammo likes. As well, you'll be able to tune with the regulator. But it says it's going to be pushing an 18 grain JSB at 900 feet per second in 22, a 25.4 grain JSB 800 feet per second in 25 caliber, and a 30 caliber is going to be pushing a 44.7 grain pellet at 740 feet per second. And it's going to give you 40 plus shots per fill in all calibers, 22 through 30. It's got an 11 millimeters dovetail scope rail. It says in big capital red letters on the pellet shop website, do not use Crossman Premiers. It says you use JSB standard weight pellets, and I'm assuming you can use FX as well. As well, they have Donny FL adapters, so you can adapt this to one half UNF, as well as Sabre Tactical 52 millimeter bottle clamps, which will basically give you a nice sturdy aluminum bottom rail for your bipod that you can slide all the way out to the end of the bottle if you want. Like all the AEAs, it's going to come with this awesome Hogue style soft rubber ergonomic grip. I love the AEA grips. Like I said, there's a lot of buttons and levers on the SF. There'll be a link in the description to the manual, but it's also located on the pellet shop website. Just click on any one of the SF pages and there'll be a link to the manual. The shroud is just hand tightened on there. And underneath you can see part of the semi-auto mechanism. That up there at the front is what's technically called a rubber baby buggy bumper. So I went ahead and used a JL crown saver and some ballastol to clean the air gun before I shot it. You want to get that preservative gunk out of the barrel for the best accuracy. As well, I'm going to start saying in every video that you want to store your air gun full of air. If you store a PCP empty, it'll ruin the seals. Before I shot the SF, I went ahead and cleaned the barrel with Balasol, which is safe for air gun seals, and a crown saver. You always want to get that preservative gunk out of your barrel before you shoot your air gun. As well, you never want to use a metal cleaning rod on an air gun. The other thing is you should always store your air gun full of air. Storing your air gun empty will actually damage the seals. I will show you how to adjust the regulator at the end of this video, as well as what all the buttons and levers do. First though, I just used the power wheel to do a little bit of quick tuning. Here's how that went. All right, I went ahead and lost my LDC for now because I want to shoot it with the out of the box harmonics going on. And I'm coming up a little short on JSBs. So we're going to have some 15.9 grain FX, the 18 grains, and then these are 25.4 grains, which would be equal to the JSB redesigns. Might throw some knockouts in there. So this is just the out-of-box tune. You could tune it up or down. Set up at a very special. Bam, nailed it 35 yards away. All right, 15.89 grain. Woo, smoking at 996. All right, 18.1 grain FX. Woo, still going pretty fast. Let's 
Looks like this one's gonna end up shooting the heavies today. 827, hmm. So opposite the power wheel on the other side is that Allen key right there. That's exactly opposite your power wheel. So I'm just gonna bump that a little bit down. See if we can get this bad boy going 890 with 18 grain JSB. I turned the power wheel basically one notch down and then fine tune it a little bit from there. Dang, I might want to take that right there. So at 35 yards, we're starting out with the FX 18.10 grain. We're going to shoot a few magazines with these, and then we're going to do the whole thing again with the 18.13 grain JSBs, and then we're going to do a little semi-auto target shooting. And as far as the paper punching goes, I was short on time this week, so 35 yards is all we're going to get. As far as distance, but I think it'll give you a good idea of the reliability that you can expect from the AEA SF. All right, you guys, I did the power wheel, but that's kind of a backward way of tuning when you have the option of tuning with the regulator. So I'm gonna shoot some groups real fast, but then I'm gonna go inside and figure out how to adjust the regular. I'm guessing you have to degas it and then uh, adjust it and regas it. Definitely to turn it down, you would have to do that. Save that swan for once we're sighted in all the way. See where we're hitting. I think we're sighted in. Right now I'm just shooting bolt action, so I'm cocking the hammer back between each shot. Good enough for me, I'm not shooting my best. Windy too. Let's hit some more bullseyes. Darn, if we didn't have that high one, that would have been a great one. I'm just gonna keep on shooting. It's like a regular bolt action, AEA. So I finished out these groups for the FX-18 grain, and it did great. Holding dime-sized groups, no flyers. But it turns out that the 18.13 grain JSB did just a little bit better. Ooh, that was me. I was not at concentrating at all. That one was supposed to go right here. <laughs> Whoa, smoke that one. Not bad. So before we get on to the semi-auto accuracy testing, here's a look at the basic operation of the AEASF. Okay, this lever right here is just to hook your bolt back when you're cleaning your gun or for some reason you just want your bolt to stay open. And that lever right there is actually your bolt release. So to pull your bolt back, you can see it's not going to go right there. You just depress that. And then your bolt's gonna go back. So right here, I'm gonna basically hit this. That'll allow me to get my bolt back. Then once it's back, I just go like that, hook. And now it's hooked right there. I can, whoops, sorry, I cleaved my air gun or put my magazine in and out, whatever you need to do. And then you just pull back a little bit, put that down to release, and then you're good again. On the other side, like I said, that's just your bolt release so you just go it's very natural and then you got your single and semi selector so just cock your bolt back and select semi or single and then put it back the only thing you want to make sure is when you're putting it back in semi make sure that this goes all the way forward and gets locked 
and also when you're shooting bolt action too. It snaps forward most of the time, but um, just make sure you push it all the way forward and you'll hear it click in there. And also, of course, there is your fire and safe. You actually don't even need to degas the gun to adjust the regulator. So with air in the gun, turn the Allen key counterclockwise for more pressure, clockwise for less pressure. You can turn the regulator up with no issue, but when you turn it down, you want to take a shot, turn it a quarter turn, then take a shot again, take it another quarter turn. Another thing to note is that let's say you turn it up to 180 bar, you want to shoot it a few times. That's going to settle it down to where it's going to be. So that'll settle it down to like 150 or 160. And that's how you adjust the regulator. All right, you guys, I'm in semi-auto. Loaded up with JSB. Awesome group. I can't remember. I might have shot one too many, but damn it. I didn't adjust my camera. Sorry about that, guys. So then this must be the JSBs. All right. JSB in the wind. Freaking nice. Quarter size group, semi auto. Wow, you shoot fast, you get a little better group. So I can see why you would want bolt action though, because basically, bolt action, you have no kick. There's uh, some recoil and some shaking, definitely when you're on semi auto. Like I said, I was a little bit short on time this week. I'm sorry I didn't have time to tune the regulator and do all that. It's definitely a unique design on this AEA SF. It's certainly capable of hitting the target. And of course the tunability, being able to tune it up and down for different weights of ammo and different pellet speeds with an externally adjustable regulator. Pretty awesome. All right, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. Till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.